Most commonly known as a sporting toy breed, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is playful, sweet-tempered, and gentle. This adorable canine adores cuddling in laps and snuggling on soft pillows, but they also have incredible athletic instincts. In general, this dog is polite with everyone and they're peaceful with other animals as well. On top of that, they're visually stunning. So if you want to get one, we totally understand why. But before you do that, here are 10 things you should know before bringing home a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Hello everyone, welcome to Dog Oracle. Before we get started with the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more great daily doggy content. Now let's get started. Number 10. They come from the Toy Spaniel breed. Although the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is a new breed, its ancestors, the Toy Spaniel, were very popular from the 16th to the 18th centuries. The Toy Spaniel existed for centuries as a companion to royalty and nobility, and they also serve as the Cavalier breed's prototype. In the 1500s, the Queen of Scots brought these lap dogs from France to Scotland, and there they became lap warmers for royalties. One notable figure is Mary, the Queen of Scots. Witnesses say that she had a toy spaniel and it accompanied her when she was beheaded. Because the Queen Spaniel has grown too fond of her, it died from grief a few days after the Queen's execution. During this time, King Charles Spaniel rose to fame and they constantly posed alongside their royal owners in some extravagant paintings. Some well-known artists also use the breed in their creations, and they can be seen in the works of Titian, Van Dyck, and Lili. Number 9. King Charles II was an avid fan Just by their name, you might have been able to figure out that the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel has something to do with royalty. The breed did get its name from King Charles II. He was a huge fan of this dog breed and witnesses claim that he never went anywhere without three of his spaniels following behind him. In fact, he loved this dog so much that some of his subjects accused him of being irresponsible in his kingly duties in favor of caring for his dogs. Because of his intense dedication to this breed, he was dubbed the Cavalier King which became the inspiration for the dog's official name. Number 8. There is a special decree made specifically for them. Remember when we said King Charles II was a hardcore fan of the breed? Well, he went the extra mile by creating a decree that would allow the King Charles Spaniel to enter any building. And we mean any building. This includes the Houses of Parliament, which is usually off-limits to animals. Surprisingly enough, this decree is still in existence today. However, no one has actually tested it and tried to bring in their Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Number 7. They have a very pleasing personality. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is a very affectionate, intelligent, and playful dog who willingly showers their human families with lots of love and devotion. They are far from being shy or aggressive, so you don't have to worry about that. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel isn't an overly protective dog, but they can be a bit loud when they greet you. In fact, if you take a breed of dog as eager to please as the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel and put it through a training program such as the Brain Training for Dogs program that unlocks your dog's hitting intelligence, you could have the most obedient, well-behaved dog in your town. I'll leave a link for you to check out in the description box below this video. Number 6. They were once considered the same breed as the King Charles Spaniel. The King Charles Spaniel and the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel were once considered as the same type of dog. But as time passed, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel began to change in appearance and because of this, it was classified as an entirely different breed in the 1920s. This fully separated them from the King Charles Spaniel that originated in the 1500s. Number 5. The breed was split into two. During the 1920s, the King Charles Spaniel has rounded heads and short, stubby snouts. However, American fancier Roswell Eldridge flew to England and offered 25 pounds for the greatest specimens of old type spaniels. He challenged some dog breeders to present a larger dog with longer, more graceful snouts. Specifically, he wanted to see the spaniels that were represented in the paintings of King Charles II. 
However, the breeders of that time had already spent a lot of time honing the short-nosed variant, so they had no desire to take on the challenge. But years after that, the task was eventually accepted by a small core group of breeders. In order to set the newly developed variant apart from its puggier counterparts, it was given the name Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Eldridge died in 1928, so he unfortunately did not live to see how this project turned out. <laughs> Number 4. They served as flea magnets Did you know that the Cavalier was more than just a mere pet? In the Middle Ages, the Black Death killed millions of Europeans. It is also commonly known as the bubonic plague and it spread mostly to humans by inflected fleas. Because of this, people feared getting bit by the fleas, and they had to come up with a plan to save themselves from the plague. Later on, pet owners theorized that their dogs can act as flea magnets for them. This is where the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel comes in. At night, pet owners would carry the calves to their beds, hoping that the fleas would disregard them to infest the dogs instead. No one could actually confirm if their theory worked, but it truly gave recognition to the dog breed. Number 3. Their different colors have special names This dog breed comes in many different colors, and you can even find mixed color coats on rare occasions. There are four official Cavalier King Charles Spaniel colors, and they are Blenheim, Tricolor, Ruby, and Black and Tan. Out of the four official colors, the Black and Tan Cavaliers are said to be the rarest of the coat colors accepted by the AKC. There are still other color combinations to this breed, but they're not accepted by the AKC. These colors may be Chocolate Tricolor, Chocolate and Tan, All Black, and Black and White. Did you know that there is a legend about the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel's Blenheim color? According to the legend, the Duke of Marlborough allegedly left Britain in the 1800s to participate in the Battle of Blenheim. During that time, their Cavalier King Charles Spaniel's puppies were being delivered at home by his wife. When the puppies were born, they had red and chestnut spots. Because of this, the coloration now called the Blenheim spot was named after the battle. After this, the family continued to breed Blenheim dogs until the early 1900s. You must remember that Cavaliers have a silky, feathered coat prone to mats and tangles. Because of that, you need to brush and comb them frequently, at least weekly. You also need to trim the coat regularly, especially around the hind end, for sanitary reasons. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel also sheds a lot, so just be ready for that. Number 2. They're Athletic Dogs the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is a kind, friendly breed that is eager to please its owners. They get along well with strangers and other animals, and they are excellent around kids, too. On top of that, they are excellent in a variety of canine sports, too. They enjoy walking, running, and performing in dog sports such as agility, fly ball, and rally. Some have even demonstrated their skills as hunting dogs. This breed is incredibly smart and easy to train. Number 1. They have a short lifespan The average life expectancy of Cavaliers is between 8 to 9 years, which is not high for a small breed. If you really want to own a Cavalier, you should be most concerned about their potential health problems. This is perhaps the biggest drawback of the breed. The number one killer of Cavaliers is inherited heart disease, which is usually a Mitchell valve disease. By the age of 5, almost 50% of Cavaliers will develop heart disease. And by the age of 10, the probability of contracting the disease is entirely inescapable. The Cavalier is also prone to syringomyelia, which is an inherited neurological disorder. Most calves show the symptoms between 6 months and 3 years old. This causes abnormal skin sensations, sensitivity to touch, pain, and difficulty walking. Sadly, there is no cure for this. Although this already sounds depressing, the calf is also prone to inherited epilepsy, hip dysplasia, eye diseases, and loose knee joints. This is definitely heartbreaking, so be ready for this, both emotionally and financially. We hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below which fact about the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel surprised you most, or if you missed anything you think should have made the list. If you enjoyed this video, here's another one that you might like. 
Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.